Brothers and sisters, welcome all to the second episode in the series Basics of Islam. In today's episode, we're going to learn the basic movements of salah or prayers, as known in Arabic. It helps to know why do we pray, who do you pray to, and the benefits of the prayer. There's many benefits, of course, spiritually and as well as physically, as some will tell you. But the core of prayer is to remember and to thank God. We're given these five times a day, it takes no more than 30 minutes just to be conscious of God and to thank Him. In order to simplify the understanding of prayer, it helps to break it down into small cycles. These cycles are called rukua in Arabic, and these consist of basic movements that allow for the transition from one cycle to the next cycle. And each prayer consists of either two, three, or four cycles. The first motion in prayer involves bringing the hands together from the upright position and saying Allahu Akbar, or God is great. And this is the beginning of the prayer. In the second motion, you move from an upright position into a bowing position while saying Allahu Akbar, God is great. In the third motion, you return into an upright position while saying Sami'allahu liman hamida, or God hears all who praises him. In the fourth motion of the cycle, we move from an upright position down into prostration, saying, Allahu Akbar, or God is great. Allah. Be sure to have your toes curled inwards, your hands, your knees, your forehead, and your nose all touching the ground. In the fifth motion of the cycle, we move up from prostration to rest on our knees, saying again, Allahu Akbar, or God is great. In the sixth motion of the cycle, we return again into the prostrating position. The next motion depends on what cycle in the prayer you're in. Different prayers have two, three, or four cycles. And on each even cycle, you must rest back on your knees or during the ends of the prayer. Allah Akbar. If it is not the end of the prayer, or if it's not an even cycle, then you must return again to the standing position and continue on to the next cycle. Allah When you have completed all your cycles and you are now ready to finish prayer on your final cycle, stay resting on your knees and after completing supplication, turn your head to the right saying Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and then to the left saying again Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah meaning peace and blessings of God be upon you. Allah Akbar. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you found this video to be very beneficial. This is again just the core basics of prayer. There's still the, the verbiage and the meanings and the, what you must say and etiquettes that are involved that are more detailed and we'll go through those in separate videos as we move forward. And we'll even go through each of the five prayers individually so you can see a visual representation of what it means to do this or not do that. At the core of it, you just got to understand that you got to have the intention for God and understand that you're praying to God and everything else will come along as you learn. Thank you all again and Assalamu Alaikum. Peace be upon you all.